Howdy all you from and friends out there. This is the Butcher Man. Here with a weekend dose of Farming Simulator. I'm just doing a whole bunch of work here on Sandy Bay. Uh, we've actually, I've actually been harvesting like a whole bunch of fields. Uh, as you can see it's morning so I progressed it through the night and then of course you got a whole bunch of fields you gotta harvest. I think so far I've harvested... It's like hard to look at my map here. Let's see, I harvested 28, 29, 24, um, which is weird because they're already like, you know, getting in their growth stages and stuff. Um, now I'm working on 34, gonna do 33, uh, but I think the video is gonna be, I've started doing 20, um, which is something you guys like to see, so that's why I figured I'd include it in the video. Uh, we'll probably have to jump over and kind of manage these guys from time to time, um, for the most part, but, uh, we'll go ahead and jump over here, um, not that guy, got him fertilizing, this is what we're doing right here, get this guy fired up, get that there, got this truck I did have both of them running uh, so we really need another semi I can't I don't think we can take out a loan though the loans pretty high as it is at the moment uh, it'd be nice if we had another semi it'll cost us way too much for it though we'll manage uh, probably why he's running back and forth we'll do it you know uh, f20 to bio a I had one to A, one to B, because there's two different silos over at the biotech plant. Um, the big X. Make sure I got him on zero. Cause like I don't know how most everybody does this, but this is this is how I do it. Uh, I don't think that tractor was sitting there when I first started recording. So like he should come right over here to this combine. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, he, I was running two semis, and I did this like what I've done so far, the like several headlands I've done. I've done it pretty fast, and I've I've got quite a bit. I've probably got oh 150, 200 thousand liters in each silo right now, because uh, each one of these trailers. Uh, these ones hold like oh it's quite a bit 59,000 uh, I was using a couple of different ones so average about 50,000 a piece or something like that there's quite a bit over there uh, you guys will probably see it here in a bit but as long as nobody over there messes anything up we should be alright looks like the new Holland up there is full so hopefully he makes his way to the uh, to the other lorry. But we're just kind of doing this. I figured, you know, this right here will bring us so much money that we won't even uh, we won't even need money for a while. I mean, this will just be like crazy how much we get from this. I'm figuring probably like six million or something like that. I mean, it'll be a lot because uh, I think. I think both of those silos will hold a million liters. Uh, and if that's the case, we'll have two million liters times, you know, three thousand dollars, you know, per liter or whatever. Uh, so that's actually pretty decent money. Now I was going to put this on a hired worker, but for some reason in field 20 and even a couple other fields that I've run into, uh, they don't, the hired worker doesn't really work all that well. Um, let me do something real quick, because I think my volume was a little high last time I remember. Microphone. Audio. Let's turn the booster down one notch and see how that works. Because I know, uh, I think for streaming it does just fine, but, you know, for the most part, when recording, it seems like my voice is a little loud. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, 
at least when I went through and edited it and stuff, it seemed a bit loud. Um, I didn't get any comments besides the fact that some guy saying that it, you know, he just didn't like the video in his own words, of course, but um, it looks like somebody's at 90% up there. This is a combine's at 90%. We better go check on him. This guy's got some in it, so he's alright. Oh, it's just because he's waiting on the overloader. It's nothing crazy. They'll figure it out. He should start going down here in a second. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Now, sometimes you just kind of got to wait on them to figure it out or whatever. And uh, I don't know that we'll do all this field, you know, on this video. I just figured I'd give you guys a look and kind of a peek into what I'm doing here on the weekend. Um, I should have done a stream today. I didn't end up doing what I wanted to do. Just so you guys know, I try to keep you updated at all times. Um, I did not end up going to do my boat stuff today. Uh, it's actually going to be Monday after work. So there's not going to be a, a Donnie Goal uh, or a live stream on Monday. I am going to try my best to do a uh, video, probably today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow on Sunday. Um, I'll try to do a video for Donnie Goal, about an hour long probably. Uh, that way you guys get to see it and whatnot. Looks like the JCB's in traffic. Which is probably this guy. Yep, if we just move him, it'll be fine. And if you, I'll show you this real quick too. I actually changed it a bit. This field used to go down past these poles. Uh, I bought this a while back, but it just now decided to go ahead and uh, get rid of all this grass down here. Just because, you know, you can do it, but since the poles have collisions. Uh, every time you want to come through here, like anytime you want to do it with course play or something like that, uh, or hired worker, you're going to be sitting here doing this over and over and over. I think it was this way, yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably just cut in and out, kind of like I did uh, on the court farms map, which I don't know how you know what people thought of that. Um, I'll probably just, because I'm going to try to, I might try to finish this, this field in the video. I know once we get two lorries going, it'll help a lot. But uh, I'm going to do a bit more, and then I'll be back with you guys in a little while. Howdy, y'all. I'm back for a little bit. So you kind of do some progress. Now we got the combine over here. I only have a little tipple chipper trailer, a little Marshall trailer there, to uh, kind of run our grain back and forth. Uh, I decided to go ahead and put the second lorry down there with the... Uh, Oh, I can't even remember what you call it, the chaff harvester or whatever. Uh, I end up putting it, putting both of them down there, so now both of them are kind of going. And they're doing a really good job. Uh, plus the hired worker for the combine is working, so, you know, that's always a plus. Uh, we'll get this guy emptied and then we'll kind of go, and then we'll go check on him. Uh, I'll kind of show you how far he's gotten. I think he's made a couple of laps around the field. Uh, nothing major, but they are running the chaff back and forth pretty quick. Uh, it is pretty neat, though. Uh, like, you'll see them just, it'll pop up and say the truck's in traffic. And all I gotta do is hit 9 and see that the truck's at that intersection. Because when they stop at the light, it says they're in traffic. Because they're stopped, and they just, they don't, you know, horseplay doesn't know why. Oh, where's he at? I think he is... He should be done, I think. Yeah, he's empty. I'll go ahead and just dump this... Like, put, like park this guy in a way that it'll empty this, uh... Whatever. This little trailer. Uh, I don't remember how much this little Marshall trailer holds. I think it's 20-something, though. Uh, I believe it is. Let's check really quick. That way I, rem I can remember... Um, I can find it. Should be right there. There it is. Twenty-one seven. So this shouldn't even empty it. So it should be fine. 
Or shouldn't fill it, I mean. Shouldn't empty it. That doesn't make any sense. I got this guy down here planting. I got that guy up there fertilizing. At least he's supposed to be fertilizing. Looks like he's kind of driving in circles up there. Uh, no, he's got it figured out. He's probably not done working, though. Uh, yeah, he should be good. Turn that off and get him off the field. We're starting to get a buildup of slurry and manure. Um, that guy is probably wrecked. For some reason, whenever the combine comes up to the corner, that's like the only problem I have so far. Is for some reason when the combine comes up to the corner of the field, these trucks like to just drive straight. Like he just keeps going into the field, like into the hedgerow or whatever. And that kind of frustrates me. But, you know, for the most part they work. Uh, these little like cab over trucks though, they, they work really nice. The tight turning and stuff. Uh, there's that guy. We're going to let him go. Uh, I don't have any vehicles down here close, but we'll run over here really quick. And uh, I'll show you exactly like how much like chaff and stuff we have in here. Because it definitely looks like we're going to have a lot. Alright, here we are. Let's see. This is what I call Pit B. The so Pit B has 36 or 364,999. So basically 365. Uh, and Pit A has 355. So we're not even halfway done with the field, and these things are already 37% and 38% filled. So I would say they'll have close to, I'd say they'll probably have close to 800,000 liters in each. So, I mean, that's, we're going to have a lot of money. Like I said, it's probably going to be like 6 million or something. Uh, Sorry about that, I just exited out of my game. Alright, so that guy's actually about to head over again. I don't really know what this guy's doing. He's like broken or something. I don't know where he's going. I don't know what causes course play to kind of break like that. Like, he was just driving like nonchalantly straight, and I guarantee he just ran into that bush. But as you can see, we got quite a bit off the field as, as at the moment. We got about probably about half of the field left, maybe a little over half. But uh, I know you guys like seeing the chaffing and the harvesting and all that stuff, uh, so that's why I'm trying to show it. That guy, he was stuck for a second. I think there's probably just a car going by. Yeah, you can see the car going up the hill there. Go over and check on this combine here. See what he's doing. He looks like he's finished. Yeah, this this field's not very big. I think the, the fertilizer spreader actually only goes around it like once and then just kind of makes a little circle in the center. And then that's pretty well it. So. Kind of interesting how the hired worker actually shuts these things off when he's done with them. I mean, that's cool. I mean, it's not wasting fuel or whatever, but you gotta start it back up when you jump into it. Uh, let's see. It says a sheep wool's at 97%, so we're gonna have to take care of that in just a minute. Uh, we're actually doing pretty good on animals. Uh, got 101 chicken or 100 chickens and a rooster. Um, so the eggs are coming out pretty quick. Hundred hundred sheep. So the wool's coming out pretty quick. Got two hundred cows now, because uh, I sold all my corn at a great demand. Sold all my wheat at a great demand, and then I bought a corn field and two wheat fields, harvested them off, sold them during the great demand. Uh, made a lot of money off that. Um, obviously, we don't have a lot of money at the moment, but you know, I end up spending it on cows and on the loan and some other stuff. Um, milk tank's got 150,000. I finally figured out the whole stop milk mod. If you're having trouble with that, like I did, my thing was that I couldn't figure out why it was that it was still selling the milk. Well, the stop milk, stop milk sale mod is just a sign. 
and I can show you to you. It's over on the farm. All I did was took the sign and put it up next to my milk tank. I guess to basically theoretically tell the truck to stop picking up the milk. Um, and we got pretty good production here for the beef and the pigs. Uh, we own 500. Slaughter weight's 177 for both. So at some point we're going to sell those. I would like to wait for a great demand. But I don't know. I did get another mod, just so you guys know. Uh, I think it's in here. Yeah. I downloaded this. There's four different ones. I think the only difference is the colors. We got red, orange, green, and black. We're probably obviously going to get red. You know, the butcher man red. Uh, we'll get that. That holds a hundred thousand liters. So we can hook the lorry onto that, pull it over to the milk sell place, and sell that like, you know, lots of money. Uh, instead of doing it eighteen thousand liters at a time, we can do it a hundred thousand liters at a time. Uh, and we will just be making bank on milk. Uh, put that in. I think this combine is pretty well done at the moment. Um, I'm sure there's a cornfield. Eight's got corn on it. Um, there's like so much to do on this farm right now. But I'm probably going to try to save some of it for the live stream. Um, we're going to have to harvest some potatoes. We're going to have to plant some potatoes. Because I think field number 20, whenever it, whenever it comes off, it's going to be potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna have to plow it and then potato like plant potatoes on it or whatever um, There is a field right now that needs to be put I need to put sugar beets on but that's all I got to do is pull the Tractor down there and start the planter And it'll figure itself out But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of an update, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip a little bit and then uh, I'll come back and we'll do some more you know, checking things out, see how things are going. Um, I don't know how you guys will like these videos, but I just, I kind of figure it'll, it, all it is pretty much is just to tell you guys, you know, how things are going on the farm, uh, what, you know, pretty much what I do off camera, you know, when we're not streaming on Sandy Bay, because I still want to play Farming Simulator. So it's basically just a, hey, this is what I'm doing. It's not a, hey, this is a pro, whatever. And uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think of the intro that I did. Um, I made an intro. It should have been at the beginning of this video, but you have to let me know what you think uh, so that I have an honest opinion. But yeah, this is going to be... I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip forward, and then uh, we'll be back in just a second for you guys. But yeah, here we are, man. We're, we're getting real close here. This, this trip here looks pretty narrow, but over there we still got quite a bit. You can kind of see it in the fuzz. But I got both of these trucks running, and they're doing a good job. Like I said, the only problems we have is, like, when the combine turns around at the corner, they seem to run into the bush. And then over there, when they finish up, like, when they come up and kind of hit the stop sign, and they're supposed to, like, turn to come to the combine, they do that whole going straight thing. But other than that, they do a pretty decent job. I mean, they do a really good job of going and, like, putting it in the silo. Um, let's see. We're going to have to pay attention to... How much he's got. He should have a hundred. There we go. Caught it just in time. Now he's going to pull away. And probably turn and go behind me. And that other truck should. As long as they don't collide with each other. Somebody's going to mess it up. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh... But yeah, I mean, we're going to end up with a lot of money. A lot of money. But we'll probably just sell it when we need to sell it, and then, you know, just sell what we need to get what we want, and then, you know, we'll probably sell, like, wait a bunch of it until a, a great demand, which will just be insane. Uh, I don't even know, like... You want to drive? Mrs. Butcher Lady's in here. She, she's saying she wants to drive in the video. She was driving my tractor earlier. She was helping me grasp that one part of that field behind them poles. She, she couldn't seem to grasp the steering concept, though. And then she's like, well, how do you back up? And I said, well, you press the bat with the brake pedal. And she's like, the brake pedal backs up. I said, yeah, that's kind of just kind of how it works. So it's, it's just, you know, it's one of those things... That's how it's programmed. Let's 
See if this guy like freaks out now. No. He actually did pretty good there. He just came running around. Yeah, I know it's it's not it, it's not perfect. Look at this guy. Now a little bit ago I had to fix them because like they met right on this bridge and like right in this spot where they go like where are you touching the white line they met on this bridge and just kind of stopped like basically their mirrors were touching or something like that so they're just like I'm in traffic as you can see there we got one planting he's planting uh, sugar beets not corn it's sugar beets so we have sugar beets in that field we're gonna have potatoes in field 20 which is gonna be a lot of potatoes uh, which I should probably do sugar beets in that field because right now two is potatoes we're gonna have a bunch of potatoes from that and then I plant if I plant 20 in potatoes we're just gonna have I don't know lots and lots and lots of taters uh, I might actually wait to plant it I don't know uh, I was thinking I could plant 20 in sugar beets and then get the the big sugar beet harvester uh, the new sugar beet harvester coming out. Um, oh, but if I plant it now, you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna need to be harvested before that comes out because that doesn't come out for another like what week and a half or something like that or you know two weeks. Uh, so it's that's gonna be a while. And just watch this. This works really well, and I'm not driving right now. Horseplay is actually doing its thing right now, which it freak it weirds that a little bit because like when it drove right in the front right there, that was a tip trigger. Like it's close enough to it that like you see the back opens up already. You know if this was realistic that would be dumping out, but you know if it was realistic he wouldn't open it yet. Um. But he'll pull all the way up there. Uh, when I had the other, when I had the Peterbilts, they just could not seem to grasp the idea. Um, they couldn't seem to grasp the idea of backing up. They would just overcorrect, like oversteer every time. Uh, let's check our our numbers now. We got 414 in there. We got 482 there. This one's about to get the 59,000 that's in there. So we'll see how well he does dumping this. Uh, and when I cut it the next this next time, it'll probably just be I'll, I'll cut it until uh, until I'm done with that field. But look, we can see both of them. That's pretty neat. All right, so he hasn't even started dumping yet, which I'm not really sure why. I might need to get like a compactor mod or something for this thing because it'll take me forever to compact this when it's done. Uh, we do need to go in ahead and do this. We got this sitting here ready to go. Uh, I've already got one stack over there and it was a hundred percent when I put it over there. So we're gonna end up with a lot of sheep wool. And I'm probably just gonna like stack it against this wall. I thought about putting it in that shed, but that does seem like it'd just be kind of a pain. But I don't know. I guess we could put it in there. That'd be that'd be realistic, I suppose. We'll just stack it in there. It'll be fine. We can get it all back out whenever we uh, whenever we want to. As long as the sheep don't mess with it, then we should be all right. I think what we'll do is like if we come through the door and just kind of come over like this. We just kind of stack it all in a line. You know, that says he's in traffic. But if I hit 9, he's sitting at that intersection right there. Uh, so, basically he's just waiting on the traffic light. Yeah, we'll just put all three of these pallets in here. That one there ain't got much on it, but that's because of the fact that... Uh, 
That's the pallet I ended up with whenever the update was done. And it like moved the, the pallet spawn point in here instead of out there outside the fence. So you just kind of, I end up with this little bitty pallet, but it's still sell. There's still wool in there, so it's still money. Plus you can't exactly just like, you know, delete it or whatever. Come on now, come off of there. Why it's not coming off? There we go. All right, now that says he's in traffic. There shouldn't be one at that intersection, so he's probably sitting there. Just went straight. And sitting there at that, that uh, fertilizer trailer. Yep. All I gotta do is that and then hit drive and then he'll just go. Not sure why he does that, but you know. I don't suppose there's probably any way to fix it. None of this stuff is it, right? Yeah, there we go. Ran over my sheep there. Yeah, they're they're producing wool pretty good. Eventually, we'll have like a whole bunch of them, and you know the wool pilots will just be going crazy. I don't know how much people normally get into doing sheep and wool in this game, but I've really, ne really never got that much into it. But I've also never got that much into doing the milk either, like the the the, the uh, dairy cows. Like when I first started playing on Farm Simulator 13, I didn't even hardly do the dairy cows. And I think we'll just park this guy right here. He can just stay there for now. We got this guy set up, ready to go. Uh, once we get a lorry free, then I'll do that. Um, go back and check on... Uh, we got that guy. We, re we I was using him to... Um, what do you call it? Oh, load the trailer so I can put it in the mixing station. We'll go ahead and drive our combine. That way it's not costing us money. We can manage to drive it for a bit. But you guys will definitely have to let me know what you think about all this cutting and all that stuff. Uh, and see how you like it. If not, I mean, it's hard to do a 30 minute video or so um, and not cut the whole, like cut a bunch of it out. Otherwise, if it's 30 minutes without being cut, there's not a whole lot being done. Um, so just let me know. If I do it without cutting it, then you're just not going to see much. I mean, you'll just see a little bit of harvesting or whatever. 30 minutes of me jumping around doing stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to cut it, and then uh, when we're done with the field, I'll come back and I'll show you what's going on. And I'm back for the last section of our video. As you can see, all of the corn is off the field. All of field 20 has went into chaff and has went to the biotech. As you can see in the lower left hand corner, the other truck is slipping. Um, once the silos got to a certain point of fillage, they seem to be having issues backing up onto it. Because when they start going up onto it, the trailer like whips around in some crazy fashion, whatever and it just you know it doesn't go very well so we're gonna run over here and then you know we'll dump this guy we'll dump that guy and then we'll check see how much we actually have because it's going to be crazy i bet we're gonna at least have over a million i know we'll have over a million between the two of them anyway i don't know how much per maybe eight hundred thousand per uh, it'd be nice to have a million, but I would say 800,000 is still going to be awesome. No, he's not even dumping. I guess it does say he's empty. I don't know why he's doing that now. Uh, I don't really understand. Uh, at first he was fine, but then, I don't know, the last couple of trips, like this trip and the last trip, he just, uh, he's been like weirding out or whatever. 
we are gonna have to I'm gonna have to compact it pretty good uh, I got a mod but I'm not gonna go get it I'll just probably drive one of these trucks back and forth over it it'll work out Uh, yeah, I don't know why he keeps getting stuck there. He's not even programmed to be over there. Not even close to that coming out. Alright, take your bets. Place your bets. Whatever you want to call it. Let's go take a look. We'll go up here on the center and then take a look at them. They look extremely full, though. I mean, it looks amazing. It's going to be money, money, money. It's going to take us forever to sell this stuff, though. Uh, Alright, we have 738 and 779. That's a lot of compost, a lot of silage. Let me get my calculator out. Seven 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 nine 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 plus seven three eight one eight four. One hundred and fifty. Wait, one point one point five million. One million five hundred sixteen thousand one hundred eighty three. So we got a little over 1.5 million liters. That is crazy. As you can see, the compacting is not too bad. I did compact it early, all the way up to 100%. But obviously, adding more uh, gets you to the point that um, oh, uh, the more you add to it, the less is compacted. That sort of thing. I think we ought to arrange these for a screenshot. It's going to be amazing. This obviously isn't that realistic, but I think it'll work. We'll put the other one on the other side, and then we'll take a picture, and that'll be the video. Um, like I was saying, you guys need to let me know uh, what you think about these types of videos. Um, it's basically, like I said, it's just like an update, you know? Um, it's just a hey this is what I'm doing if you guys want me to do more like professional I don't know what you call them um, to where you know I only do 30 minutes you know uncut whatever um, I can do that that's not a big deal like I said you probably just won't see quite as much let's see control H or alt H and then look at that that's a lot of chaff right there I mean that's that's amazing but yeah let me know what you guys think uh, I take all comments constructive criticism even um, but let me know what you think and this is gonna be it guys this is a butcher man saying good day y'all